I've had an opportunity to live with Carrie before. She's really been like a sister to me. We got close very quickly because of just how caring she is. I think anybody that knows Carrie, she's just the sweetest person and has a great heart for people. She really loves people and when you're in her presence, you know that you're loved by her. And I've been really blessed to know her. I don't remember exactly when Carrie and I became friends uh, because she feels like she's always been a part of my life. She's an incredibly warm and inviting person. Carrie has been by my side through some of the toughest situations in my life and quieted the storms of my heart with the right word at the right time. She has a big heart and she looks to lighten the load for people in pain. If you think Carrie smiles a lot now, she's always been smiley, but you really bring out the best in her. You are a, just a gentleman, a kind person. You're humble, and the things that you believe in, you're very steadfast about, and just a steady person. The moment that I met you, I was rooting for you in my heart. <laughs> She told me that she really liked you. We were sitting on our beds like little kids and she was giggling and we were giggling about you and nothing's really changed, but <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so thankful that you are in her life and in our life. And I know I can speak for Aaron that he's so honored to stand with you this day. Carrie started dating Barrett, I looked to see what qualities he brought out in my friend. Carrie's such a lighthearted person, and that quality never changed when they dated. In fact, I saw even more laughter. Dearly beloved, we are gathered and assembled in the sight of God to join together this man and this woman in the bonds of marriage, which is an honorable estate instituted of God. It is wonderful to be here today on this very special occasion. Both Barrett and Carrie and their families welcome you and are very thankful that you could make it for this day to celebrate and to witness with them this wonderful commitment that they make one to another before God and to be a blessing to all of God's people. I, Barrett, take you, Carrie, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to honor, to cherish, to sustain, and to love with all my heart. In every situation, under every condition, according to God's holy word, and thereto I pledge to you myself. This ring I give you in token and in pledge of my Christian faith and abiding love for you. This ring I give you in token and in pledge of my Christian faith and abiding love for you. <laughs> it's going, it's going. Okay, we're gonna get it on there. We can't keep going unless it gets on there. For as much as you bear it and you carry, have consented together in holy wedlock before God and this company, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of God and His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit. If you'd like to, you may kiss your wife.
Carrie and I decided to plan a trip to Italy after hanging out together about two times. And in hindsight, that could have been a terrible decision. <laughs> we prayed about it for months. God covered for us and helped us with all the details. Our prayer was to have an extraordinary trip, and it was filled with tons of laughter, sweet experiences, and even a celebrity sighting. About halfway through the trip, we got caught in a storm on a boat, and it seemed like we couldn't see the shore for about an hour, but it was closer to 20 minutes, probably. I was freaking out, and I looked over at Carrie, and she had this huge smile on her face, and I thought, what is wrong with this girl? <laughs> And she turned to me and she said, God's taken care of us this far. Why would he stop now? And what she said to me shut down any anxiety I had in my heart. And we arrived to the shore a few minutes later. Carrie has added so much fun and laughter to my life. She was a friend I was praying for, and she's like another sister to me. Uh, if I haven't been introduced to you yet, or uh, if you haven't gathered from my likeness already, Barrett's younger and old only brother Brent, uh, which makes me the de facto best man. Uh, my brother is an extraordinary man. I've seen Barrett and Carrie together now the last couple of years, and while it was on seldom occasions, I see how they complement each other. Barrett's tenacity and stubbornness is tempered by Carrie's grace and forbearance. They laugh together, celebrate life's joys together and have made a beautiful space in this world for their love. This is to Carrie, who uh, was a large baby. <laughs> she, she, she's 10 pounds, 11 ounces. Ooh. When she was two, she was 10 pounds, 12 ounces. So she didn't eat much. <laughs> she uh, was a fabulous child in every way. She did great in school, she cared about people. And then high school and college, and she did so well. She cared about people. She had people who went into her facility expecting to never leave and then they went home because of her and she has blessed us with her goodness and kindness and now we have Barrett and the two of them are going to have a wonderful life together. thankful for you both and excited to see what God does for you in your lives as you continue to love him, love each other, and continue to be as sweet as you are right now. It's just going to get sweeter. So love you both so much. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. And I'm just excited to see how wonderful your lives will continue to be.